No, 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 the Belize mission to the OES and making this exhibit happen and uh, uh, we're really happy and proud to be a part of this, this grand celebration of art and nationhood. Uh, and regarding this volunteer effort, uh, which is quite unique, we usually have one or two sponsors, this has been a, like a, a family effort and, and this actually makes us really, really happy. Uh, uh, in first instance, uh, of course, I acknowledge Ambassador Patrick Andrews, who has been supportive of this event, uh, all, all, and his wife, of course, um, supporting this not institutionally, but also personally. Uh, Mrs. Elvira Mendez, it has been a pleasure working with you, Elvira. Ambassador Mendez, of course, and Chiara, where is Chiara? Chiara Mendez, who has also been very, very helpful. Um, Owen Leroy, where is Owen? He's coming. He's on his way. Uh, Owen Leroy was of, of, of big support, especially for the, the for Carl's uh, photo exhibit. Uh, Clive Flores, where is Clive? Clive. Hey. Thank you so much, Clive. I, I've heard wonderful people are absolutely delighted with those desserts. <laughs> Everybody's delighted actually with the food that, that, that Mrs. Elvira Mendez made and I, I'm sure she had some very important help too, but uh, this, everybody's actually raving about, about the delicious food. Um, Basil de Stefano of Tiburon Rum. Uh, Basil, thank you so much. I've tried that rum and it's absolutely delicious. <laughs> Even more so when it's taken straight. I don't <laughs> it. Smooth, uh, smooth. <laughs> Ms. Uh, Therese Aleman, thank you so much, Therese, for supporting this. Geraldine Lamb, also a key player in this, in, in this joint effort. And Cinnamon Potaro, who, who played a key role also in coordinating this, this activity and getting, getting all the volunteers uh, uh, in action. Okay, I wish to, to, to give the floor to Ambassador Patrick Andrews, who will officially declare this exhibition open. Ambassador. Thank you very much, Andres. I really appreciate the opportunity. Uh, Ambassador Mendez, Mrs. Mendez, the organizers of the OAS, Carl Villanueva, uh, Mr. Cal, and to all the Belizeans and Americans who are here with us today, I wanted to basically share with you a few thoughts. I was chatting with a gentleman just this moment, and he was telling me that his wife visited Belize, and how impressed they were with Belize. It's a small country, but a peaceful country, 
and a country that you can fall in love with very, very fast. Uh, you know, if you are talking about visiting this, the, this, the, the, the sea, the oceans, or, 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 or the rainforest, we have it all. And for that, I think we are very, very thankful. And so, when we talk about the history of Belize dating back thousands of years, we go back and we talk about the first occupiers of the land that is now Belize. Our history is a rich tapestry of peoples and cultures from all over the globe that found a haven in Belize and amalgamated it into what we know, know as a true, unique Belizean experience. Belize celebrates its independence on the 21st of September every year since 1981. But independence did not start in 1981. It started a very long time before 1981. It started with our forebears and the desire and the right of, of the people of Belize for self-determination. Uh, when I look back at the father of the nation, the Honorable George Price, who is now deceased, and knowing that he, uh, with his peaceful and constructive re revolution, was able to stir up uh, uh, the feeling within us to, to keep focus on what we wanted to do, I think that we owe lots to him, and I know that he'd be proud to see us celebrate the 35th uh, anniversary this year. As we begin this year and participate in activities leading up to the 21st of September, which will mark the 35th anniversary of Belize independence, let us remember the ideology that started it all, that the whole is bigger than the individual, that, it, that the sum of its parts is what counts. The interest of the country and the betterment of Belize must be the driving force behind our every effort. Being in Washington, D.C., the capital of the United States of America, and being on the National Mall itself makes me think of also memories of great men, people who have been big achievers just like our people have been. And I think that Carl Villanueva and, and Cal, they're just like that also, dreamers who have ideas who want to basically see Belize forge ahead. I remind you now that the Belizeans who led us to independence had a heart of their actions and their tireless work and the concept of nation building and always efforts towards the greater good of Belize. For in each of us Belizeans rests the torch that is a legacy of independence. Of that day in Belmopan when the Belizean flag was hoisted on Independence Hill in front of the National Assembly. I thank all of you for being here and for contributing to the realization of this exhibit. I thank the Belizean community in Washington and Virginia and Maryland and for always carrying that torch for Belize and for always helping out wherever they can. I particularly want to thank the Assistant, the Assistant Secretary General for, his, for this initiative. This is a project started under his tenure as Ambassador of Belize and we are very pleased to see him carried to the fruition now from his office as the AHD of the OS. I hope you enjoyed the wonderful evening. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Ambassador. Um, I personally have some strong ties with Belize too, working with the Inter-American Development Bank uh, quite a while ago. I, I went there probably 12 or 15 times working in the Toledo district, and I know this country very well. I, I scuba dive and I got certified there and it's like, it's a, a wonderful place, uh, it has a tremendous variety and I'm, I, I love your country. Um, Ambassador Nestor Mendes, please. Thank you so much. Uh, no saben cuánto gusto me da de tenerlos todos en esta organización nueva que ahora le llamo mi casa. Thank you so much for being in my new home, the OAS. I really wish I could take credit as the ambassador very kindly uh, tried to give me for this exhibition. Actually, I will tell you how it started. I, until about seven months ago, I was the ambassador of Belize uh, to the United States and the OAS. And I was approached by a dreamer, a gentleman from Chicago, who had this great idea. He said, you know, I was in Belize in 1981. I was there on the 21st of September. I was hiding behind the camera and I was taking pictures of everything that was happening or trying to at least. And I have the original 
collection. I have the original rolls and some of the original photographs. And because we're coming up to the 34, 35th anniversary of independence, I want to do something big with it. And I have some people helping me out in Chicago, and I want you to help me. And of course, uh, if you come to the embassy as a community leader and you're asking for support for such an initiative, of course the answer is yes. And I'm so happy that I can see today that it has been brought to reality. Mr. Carl, congratulations and thank you so very much. I also want to thank Mr. Carl clearly, who is no stranger to the museum. We had seen his work before here many, many years ago. Uh, one of the few Belizeans who actually uh, represents the best in, in, in his type of, of art. Um, I have seen a lot of artists, Mr. Kal, I think you're a tremendous artist, congratulations. Uh, and of course, Ambassador Andrews, we could not do this without the support of the Embassy of Belize, which is also the permanent mission of Belize to the Organization of American States, and through you to the Belizean community, who's here supportive, as always, to things that are done by the Embassy. Uh, to the representative of Ambassador Lamberg, uh, Mr. Pablo Zuniga, thank you for being here. I guess you will say a few words next. Really, I just want to say thank you for to everybody. Um, of course, Andres and everybody at the museum. There is so much enthusiasm in this beautiful, beautiful space of the organization of American states. The Secretary General had planned to be here this evening. He had actually put it in his schedule. He had been trying to make it. But you know, sometimes calendars get a little complicated. And he asked me to please convey his congratulations to everyone, to thank everyone for being here. He could not make it uh, because something came up at, at the very last minute. So he had to, he had to opt out uh, this evening. However, um, as Ambassador Andrew said, you know, this is the beginning of the cycle of celebrations for the 35th anniversary of independence of Belize. Um, sometimes, uh, because I'm still fresh in this role, I, I, sometimes I still think of myself first as, as, as being there as a representative. And, uh, but now I'm talking on behalf of this fabulous House of the Americas. And so I want to thank you for being here. Uh, it's a great evening. I don't want to extend myself. There's also good Belizean food there, excellent Belizean rum, and there's wine, and there's some fantastic photographs for those who were there. I know there are some of you who were actually there during that time. For those who are not, it's a little taste of what Belize was 35 years ago. I tell you, today it's much more fantastic. It's beautiful. I hope that everybody can get a chance to visit very soon. La Casa de las Américas le da la bienvenida a toda la familia americana. Eh, los beliceños que están celebrando con nosotros el día de hoy, muy bienvenidos, eh, mi gente, mi familia. Ahora estamos con la familia más grande, la familia de las Américas, eh, tratando de implementar los pilares de la organización, la democracia, la lucha por los derechos humanos, la seguridad multidimensional y, por supuesto, el desarrollo integral. Eso es lo que hace la OEA grande. Pero no solo eso es lo que hace la OEA grande. Lo que hace la OEA grande es la gente de las Américas. Ustedes, nuestra gente, mi gente, bienvenidos a su casa. So Magdalena, come here. I just wish to acknowledge the presence of Ms. Magdalena Talamas. She's the head of the OAS Peace Fund. She works closely with Belize. Magdalena, just a, just a, a, just a brief, just, just say something to us. <laughs> I'm just, uh, um, I'm very happy to be here and I congratulate Belize uh, on this very important uh, exhibit that they're presenting today. Thank you very much. Thank you, Magdalena. Magdalena heads this, the OAS Peace Fund, which does tremendous work with Belize and Guatemala and, and we value her work tremendously. So thank you so much for being here, Magdalena. So now I'll give the floor to Mr. Pablo Zuniga, who's representing, representing Ambassador Lambert the Secretary for Hemispheric Affairs. Thank you so much, Pablo. Thank you, Andres. Ambassador Andrews, Ambassador Mendes, uh, the artist uh, Santiago and Carl, congratulations for your great work. 
It is an honor for me to be here representing uh, the Secretariat for Hemispheric Affairs, the Secretariat that has the responsibility and the great honor of strengthening the Art Museum of Americas as an important tool for diplomacy and integration. Let me start by congratulating Belize and all of the Belizeans for celebrating 35 years of independence, of love, and integration for peace and development. Congratulations and applause to Belize. <laughs> Secretary General Almagro has given us a new theme, more rights for more people. More rights for more people requires a new relationship with the people, a closeness between us and the people, and that's exactly what art does. Art and artists allow us to reach deep into the history, to the culture of the countries of the Americas. And we want to thank the representation of the photographs that depict a very important moment in time taken by a young photojournalist who today is sharing his memories, his thoughts, his eyes with the Americas. And congratulations, and we hope this very successful exhibit will be shared with other embassies. Likewise, the artist uh, that has produced incredible work is with us today, and you too are bringing the OAS closer to Belize. So we want to thank you all. We want to thank Belize Ambassador, the Art Museum of the Americas, um, Ambassador's wife, who has given so much both of you for giving us so much to put this together. Congratulations, there's food, there is art to enjoy. Welcome to the House of the Americas. More rights for more people, more art. Thank you so much, Pablo. Um, now, Carl, if you can tell, like we're gonna have a um, gallery talk with, uh, with Carl and Santiago immediately after, but I just want them to Briefly uh, uh, say a few words to you. So, Carl, please. Ladies and gentlemen, good night. Good night. My name is Carl Villanueva. I'm so proud to be here to represent Belize. Any Belizeans out there? Yeah. Congratulations on achieving 35 years of independence. Belize has proven itself as a democratic country in Central America, a bridge between Central America and the Caribbean, and we're so proud to have Ambassador Mendez as second in command here at the OAS, an organization that represents peace and not war. This hemisphere has been very blessed that we don't have a lot of wars happening in our area, in our region. So we're happy to have the OAS. I'm grateful for what they've done for this exhibit. Mr. Andres Navias especially has worked very diligently with me. I want to thank some of the folks he mentioned, uh, Digital World, which has been with, the, with this exhibit from the start. And also, I must point out that Ambassador Mendez has been here from day one. He was the one that brought me over here and introduced me to Mr. Navi. So, once again, congratulations, Belizeans. Congratulations, all you visitors who have come to see these photographs. These photographs represent a new country, a new frontier, and you are welcome to come and visit us anytime. Like Ambassador Mendez said, it's more beautiful. A quarter of Belize is reserved for uh, ecotourism. That's, that's amazing. So it's a beautiful place to visit. We welcome you. Come and check us out. Thank you very much for coming. Santiago, please. As you heard before, Santiago has a history with our museum. He's one of the most uh, appreciated Belizean artists in the United States. Uh, so Santiago, once again, thank you so much for, for supporting us, for being so generous to, to your university, the University of Nebraska, that actually supported you in this commissioned work. So if you could please give us a few words. Thank you. Okay. Well, I'll keep this very brief, but I, I, uh, I just want to say thank you all for coming out this evening to celebrate this occasion. It's a great honor for myself to be a part of this. And um, I, there are too many people to thank, but you've heard uh, this echoed numerous times earlier tonight. So I, I again, thank everyone involved. It, it's with great appreciation that I am I'm a part of this exhibition. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, 
um, please enjoy the whatever is left of the food. <laughs> okay, well, hold on, please. You know, it's a terrible thing. Don't give a microphone to an ambassador or a politician. And now they say a picture too, because they don't know when to stop. I, I just want to say very quickly, we had a tremendous amount of volunteers and people who cooperated to make it possible today. And I do want to recognize them very quickly before we move out. Uh, we have a couple of volunteers behind the bar, Danielle and, um, and Joe, George. George. And uh, the people who cook, I can tell you, I know who prepared that food, the best cook in the world. Um, thank you to, to Elvira, my, my wife and my daughter. And uh, we have the people from Tiburon, and Ambassador Andrews with his personal contribution, and Miss Cathy, and um, the people in, in my office who were so tremendously supportive. But what is important really is that it, it is a, a, a Belizean community-driven initiative, and it was done by the Belizean community, by contributions, by volunteers. I think that says a lot about all of you. Thank you so much. And now I won't hold you back anymore. I think we have to take a tour. Okay, hold on, please, because there are some few names. Joseph Aguilar. Joseph, where are you? Okay, Joseph played a key role here. He himself brought 40 guests and he did a lot of volunteer work. So Joseph, thank you so much. Uh, Kathy Cuellar, thank you so much for your help. Mr. Ray and Nildi Ailey, or Ailey, thank you so much for your support. Uh, sorry for not uh, acknowledge you, um, acknowledging you earlier today. Um, Ronald, is, is... Ronald Herbison and Mr. George Bunny, who you were acknowledged already, thank you so much for your support, and, and Daniel as well. So now please enjoy the food and the delicious rum and wine and uh, the art, of course, most importantly. Uh, so we're gonna have uh, some, we're gonna start here on this direction. Those who are interested in, in, in here, a brief explanation of the work, please please join us in, in this direction. And Carl and Santiago will briefly explain what their beautiful work is all about. Thank you so much.
Vice President of the United Nations Special Assembly, Mr. Mr. Dunn, please say a few words in the public. Thank you. I mean, I have no words to express my feelings for what you have done. Thank you. Um, here you have me, and I think it's very important that we're able to participate in this exhibition. Um, uh, thank you and all the other organizers for just being the part of it. Um, uh, I want, on behalf of the Haitian people, uh, personally, to express uh, my gratitude and uh, so my wish to the Belgian people. And, uh, this is the 35th anniversary for the independence, and I hope that could double, maybe I don't not see it, you will not see it, but for the next 35 years, I wish them the best. Uh, prosperity, uh, peace, and this nation will grow, because they have all the elements to make it a great nation. Long live Belize. Thank you. And this man has in his house alone 215 pieces of art. Wow. He better have a good security system. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. In Washington, D.C., the capital of democracy. And I'm glad to see uh, this uh, wonderful TV and this great collections and uh, presentations between uh, Carl and Carl. Carl and Carl. Therefore, I'm here. I hope you will enjoy yourselves and get some uh, good uh, Venezuelan rum. And uh, to the to, to, to the gentleman in charge of the house, so I guess thank you very much. You know, we are glad to be part of that. Thank you. I'm sorry you weren't here for this visit, but we acknowledge your support <laughs> quite openly. So again, thank you so much because you played a key role in having this wonderful interview. Thank, thank you very much. You so much. Reach Regent Street, we'll be there singing loud. 